Hello everyone, my name is Teresa. I'm the owner and designer of Chapstick and Succulents. And in this video, let's talk about mealy bugs and how to get rid of them. Have you seen those white cotton-like coatings on the leaves, stems, flowers, or crevices of your succulents? Those are mealy bugs. They are considered as pests because they can harm the plants. As they feed on the sap of the plants, they can weaken and cause distorted new growths and bring other diseases. Adult females have no wings and feed on plant sap. They die shortly after all the eggs are laid. Adult males, on the other hand, have wings, but do not feed on plant sap because they lack the mouth parts. They live only to fertilize the females. The newly hatched nymphs are called crawlers. They are the ones that are active and free of wax. They would migrate and look for those soft spots where they can insert their long sucking mouth parts and feed on the sap of the plant. As they feed, they begin to form waxy coatings over their body to protect them from predators. Since nymphs and eggs are so small, it takes a while for the population to become large enough to be noticeable. Small infestations may not inflict significant damage, that's why they're so easy to be overlooked. But in large amount, they can cause leaf damage like leaf trap and yellowing and curling of the leaves. They are very active during the early stage, but once they found that soft spot and start feeding, they hardly move. As they feed, they produce honeydew, which can encourage the growth of sooty molds. That's why you can sometimes see those black spots at the same time. You might also notice the presence of ants. Ants feed on the honeydew that mealy bugs produce and protect the bugs from predators to ensure their food supply. What I have noticed is that mealy bugs do not affect all succulents even though they are planted close together. They only select certain varieties, especially those with soft spots. So how do you treat mealy bugs? What I do is I fill a spray bottle with undiluted 70% isopropyl alcohol and spray the affected area directly. Mealybugs are soft-bodied insects. Their protection is the white cottony covers. Alcohol dissolves that and kills them instantly. It can leave a thin white layer on the leaves of your succulents when the alcohol dries off. So sometimes it's better to schedule your treatment when it is time to water the plants so that you can rinse it off with water. When mealybugs are treated early, they can be eradicated without causing much damage to the plant. But if left untreated for a longer period, the damage can be so severe that it will leave a nasty mark on the plant. It will also take a while for the plant to recover and might need several treatments to completely remove the pests. You can also use Q-tips dipped in alcohol, but you might miss the eggs and nymphs so you won't completely eradicate them. I would like to share with you the gadget that I found to be very useful in detecting the bugs early. It's a clip lens that you can easily attach to your phone, iPad, or tablet, and you can magnify the area that you want to see. What's good about this is that it only costs less than $10, but it can help you detect the problem early before the bugs can cause more damage. You can buy more expensive ones that comes in fancy cases, but if you want it only for this purpose, the cheaper one can also do the job. In fact, the videos and images used for this tutorial was taken by the same lens. So, how do you protect your precious succulents from mealybugs? The best way is to prevent introducing them to your existing healthy plants. When you bring in new plants, carefully inspect them and do your alcohol treatments the moment you notice some infestations and make sure that the plant is completely free of bugs before you mix them with other plants. Watch out for ants. Their presence may indicate the existence of those bugs. And they can even transport them to those soft spots to feed on so that they can enjoy the honeydew they produce. 
Also, try to avoid overwatering or overfertilizing, because by doing so, you are encouraging new growths, therefore providing them a lot of soft spots for them to munch on. I made this video because I received several requests about this topic. And it took me a while to create this one because I wanted to have as much examples as possible. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can leave in the comment section below where you live and the common problems that you encounter growing your succulents. In that way, I will have an idea what future videos I should create to help you. Thank you for subscribing to Chapsic and Succulents. Till our next video, bye!